What is going on Minties? The Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition. And today, I'm going to take an advanced look at the Baltimore Omnibus Volume 1 hardcover by Mike Mignola from Dark Horse. So please stay tuned. Okay, now before we get started, I'd like to say a thank you to Dark Horse for sending us an advanced copy of the book. The book itself will be released on October 9th at comic book stores and places like CheapGraphicNovels.com. And speaking of cheap graphic novels, this episode is sponsored by CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first-time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout, and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. Now, let's look at the book and then just talk a little bit about it. Um, right now, you can probably tell that it is the size of the rest of the Mignola library in hardcover collections, with the exception of the Hellboy Library Editions, which are oversized. So it's your standard hardcover size. It, it is goes along great with this. I love seeing the Volume 1 right there, which means that we will probably get a Volume 2. So if you're not familiar with this type of hardcovers from Dark Horse, they're the size of a trade paperback. It just They just have a hardback instead of a trade. So it makes it look a little bit taller, which I've talked about in my many different formats of collected editions. But yes, uh, now this is a 4-in-1. And what I mean by that is the book was previously released in a total of eight hardcovers called Baltimore. And each one of them, I think they've been coming out since 2010. Let's look at it without the dust jacket. And what you have... You can tell it's got a little emboss there going on. So there's a little bit of a raise on the words Baltimore Omnibus. But it's got this fake leather look to it, which I like. Okay, let's get this opened. There's the black and Baltimore created by Mike Mignola and Christopher Golden. Uh, this has a really interesting story because it started as a novel back, I want to say in 2007. And then it kind of spun off into this comic book series, and that was in 2010. And like I said, they came out with eight hardcovers, and this collects the first four. Uh, here is the credits. Mike Mignola, Christopher Golden, who is pretty much the primary writer on this. Mignola just came up with the concept. Art by Ben Stenbeck, or Steinbeck. I'm pretty sure Stenbeck. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm not sure. Dave Stewart, wonderful colorist, and the letters by Clem Robbins. Uh, there's an introduction by Mike Mignola, how he came up with the idea of Baltimore after watching a movie, and how he's pretty much calling out his buddy Chris to do the second introduction for the second omnibus. So, good. This has been a long time coming. This omnibus was rumored, to actually, to be around a couple of years ago, and then it's finally here. Uh, the omnibus collects all of this right here, plague, the plague ships, uh, Curse Bells, what was the other one? The Passing Stranger and Chapel of Bones. Those were all the titles of the first four hardcovers. And then other stories, of course. These are little short stories. Plague of Ships. Let's look at this really quick while I talk about the story. The story is pretty simple. Um, it's the story uh, that is set in the aftermath of World War I in Europe. It is the story of this character right here named Lord Baltimore. And... Lord Baltimore is going after this vampire dude right here, Hagus. Not Hagus, Hagus. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Because they have a history together. Pretty much, Lord Baltimore was able to cut Hagus's face. Hagus got mad and unleashed this plague all over Europe, turning people into vampires and werewolves. He did something to Baltimore's family and Baltimore has sworn revenge. So he's going across Europe during this time to hunt down not just vampires, but like giant spiders, werewolves, like I mentioned, and just creatures of the dark. And that's pretty much it. That is the story of Baltimore. It goes on through a eight volumes of him trying to find this monster that did things to his family and is causing this plague in Europe. And he's not stopping at anything. Uh, one of the cool things about Lord Baltimore that I enjoy is 
well, I think it's pretty interesting for a character, for a hero. He got his leg cut off by Hagus, so he has this mechanical slash wooden leg for a leg. I think that's really cool. And it was designed by Mignola, which we'll look at the in the back here. Now, the price of the book is $34.99, much like his other books like BPRD, Ape Sapien. Um, th those, those price points are exactly the same. So, yes, if you're not familiar with Mike Mignola by now, he is the creator of Hellboy. He's the guy that brought this huge world of BPRD to us. And within these pages, he is doing exactly that. He is world building. Now, one of the questions you may be asking is, does this take place in the Hellboy universe? And it does not. As far as the first volume, I haven't read the sec anything from the second omnibus yet. I got the first two card covers, and for some reason I dropped the ball and stopped getting them, so I'm glad they released this omnibus so I can finally get the whole story in two omnis. But yeah, it doesn't take place in the Hellboy universe as far as the first omnibus is concerned. I'm just now showcasing a lot of Stanbeck's wonderful artwork. Um, so he has a very similar style to Mignola. There's a lot of use of shadows, a lot of contrast, but his faces are rounded, unlike Mignola's, which are very squared. He's got a good mix of Mike Mignola in there with John Paul de Leon, um, maybe some of Eric Powell's stuff, just in the way that he draws his monsters and creatures. But it works. His art style does work and suit the book just fine. Now let's look at the extras. Because if you're accustomed to these books by Mignola, you know they'd love to throw in sketchbooks in the back, all the covers in the back, including the trade paperback covers. By the way, the book is right around 530 pages. So for $34.99, that's, I mean, that's, that's a steal. So, you know, I don't know if you're looking to upgrade or not upgrade, I guess, because the oversized card covers are, look, do look nice. Or if you want to upgrade the trades, or if you just are going into it blind because you're a big fan of Mike Mignola, or because it's October or October here around the corner. And you want to get into a horror story. Well, this is a pretty good one, honestly, for the price that you're paying for it. And here's some more of the sketches by Ben Steinbeck. There's notes by Christopher Golden. Uh, there are notes by Mike Mignola. What exactly he wants um, the machines to look like. What he wants the monsters to look like. How the cover should be laid out. If you know anything about Mignola, you know that he likes to pick his artists to fit his kind of storytelling, and he does an amazing job of that. There's a few character studies in there, and then the covers for the heart covers. So there's the first four. And in the back here, also by Mike Mignola, hopefully one day all of this will be collected in hardcover editions. Looking at you, Lobster Johnson. Not sure if you could tell while I was flipping through there, but the binding is sewn binding. And there's that eye. We just need to look at it. It's perfect. And that was the contents of the book. Let me know in the comments down below if you're picking this up. If you're going into it blind. If you've read the novel. And if you've read the comic books. If you're looking to upgrade your individual hardcovers for these two Omnis. I'd love to know those comments. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button. And check us out on our Patreon if you enjoy the content of this channel. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you for watching. And remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint.